We're in Las Vegas at Interbike at the UVX booth and look at all these amazing helmets and this table and oh yeah, mountain bike hauler, <laughs> Hall of Famer Ruthie Mathis. <laughs> Good morning, George. How are you? <laughs> Doing great. Good to see you again. Tell us a little bit about being inducted into the Hall of Fame. It's a true honor to be inducted in the Hall of Fame. I uh, retired from racing in 2001, and um, so my Magura team, actually I work for Magura Direct, and we import UVEX, Magura, and Vredestein. They nominated me two years ago, and um, so I got to the top of the ballot this year and inducted, and it's it's true honor to join so many illuminaries in the sport of mountain biking. Well, if anybody deserves it, you do, and let's get a really nice shot of this trophy. Now, we spoke a little bit yesterday, and you're like not into displaying a lot of stuff. That's something that's going to be up on the shelf in your room where everybody can see it, I take. It's a very special trophy. It was handmade by Tom Moran, a fantastic photographer during the reign of my career. He's still in action, still taking photos. But he handmade this, and the wood is from near a race where I was in the beginning of my mountain bike career in Indiana. And then he recycled the tile, and um, it's just very special because it's handmade. And this, this world stripe here... It's a piece of aluminum that he found on the side of the road. So, um, you know, it, it really speaks to being um, creative and recycling materials. And that's, that's something I really like and appreciate. What to you was the high point of your career? There's a lot of high points. Um, I think... Let me take that back <laughs> to your riding career because you've got a great career now. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I, th I really think the world championships when I won that event in Italy was it was very magical and uh, I remember coming into the finish last lap and thinking you know you're not across the line yet you haven't won until you cross that line and and that's always something to be very present in the moment and that's something that I continue to work with but it really it was like if I jumped to the finish line because I came in and I almost crashed like right before the finish line there was a big puddle and these barricades and I kind of slid sideways I was like hold it together because you got to get across that line. So I think it, it really taught me to be as present as possible. Now, a lot of athletes have trouble making the transition from sports over to the business world. You've done a great job with that. What do you feel has helped you make that transition? I work with an incredible team at McGurr Direct and they're very supportive of me. Um, and they show me how I can transfer the skills that I had basically in mountain biking, you know, focus and dedication and, um, you know, and I love people. I love talking to people face to face and that's part of my job with McGurr Direct is that I travel around and I talk to people about our product and um, it's, it's just being comfortable and being with people. Well, sure, it's been a pleasure meeting you. Thanks very much.